Edwards with Unigirl Canada, and we are here today with Lyndon O'Hearn of Big Daddy's Bourbon Street Bistro and Oyster Bar on King Street in Toronto. What are we making today, Lyndon? Today we're going to do jalapeno cornbread with fresh mozzarella, some nice fresh field tomatoes, and finish that with a little jalapeno crisp. Let's get started. Fabulous. All right, so I've got my cornbread here. We're just going to spread it out in the pan like so. I'm just going to toast this. It takes about 20 seconds. Uh, I've got some nice fresh mozzarella here. I'm just going to put a slice on top of each of these. So we're just going to fill that back up so the cheese can soften a little bit. So I will take these out for you here. So we just plate these like so. Maybe you want to put some tomato on each of the, okay. on each of the breasts. A uh, tablespoon's perfect. You can put a little bit more. And then we've got a little bit of fresh jalapenos. And that's really it for our the jalapeno corn bread with fresh mozzarella, great flavors, just real simple olive oil and some fresh basil with the tomatoes, a touch of sea salt, a little bit of pepper. Yeah, it's really easy to do, you know, certainly would like you to come to Big Daddy's and, and have it, but uh, you could try the recipe at home yourself, nice piece of French bread toasted, fresh tomatoes out of the garden from the market, and uh, away you go. That looks fabulous. Ooh. The bruschetta was ridiculously tasty, as everyone can attest to. What are we doing now? Well, we're going to do Creole grilled calamari. We've got to marry a little bit of Creole spice and clover honey. We're going to grill that nicely and make a nice little Creole tomato roasted garlic stew. Sounds good to me. All right. So I've got our calamari here. I've taken them and I've accordion and cut them. So nice hot, nice hot grill. That looks fabulous. We're gonna make a nice sauce to go over top of the uh, over over top of the calamari. All right. Okay, so the calamari is very close here. We don't want to overcook it, so we're gonna start putting together our sauce here. So I have a few great tomatoes here, some green onion, a little bit of garlic, just a little bit more than a little, some caper. <laughs> we like those to sizzle a little bit. And I'm going to add a couple of garlic cloves here. Just full of garlic cloves as well. I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of white wine. So I'll put a little bit more in there. A little bit more doesn't hurt. And we add a little bit of green Tabasco. And add our special Creole sauce and a little cube of butter to that sauce. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Just, uh, set this up on the plate like so. And we'll just finish our sauce up here. And we get the nice richness. So that looks see fun. that? And then we're just going to pour it over top of the calamari like so. Grilled grilled calamari. Fabulous, and the sauce just goes right in. Yep, just runs in. on the calamari. I've got to say, ridiculous, so good, so right. good. Glad you enjoyed it. What's next on our menu? Well, we're going to do some bronze catfish, fresh catfish. It's farmed, of course. We don't uh, use too much wild catfish. Uh, we find the farm much more consistent, more flavorful, and all around better. Now, catfish is a very mild fish, so it's good to kick it up with we, your. Yes, spices. and we're going to bronze this just so everybody's clear. I mean. There's the blackening term too. It doesn't mean that the food's black and black. And really what happens is the spices go black. There's a bit of sugar in the mixture. So that's what's blackening. And blackening doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be blow up, blow your head off. Right. Spicy, it's just about a lot of great flavor. It has a bit of spice. Bronzed is just moving it down to the next level. We don't put right. as, quite as much spice on there, but the same process. So okay. let's now get what started. Are we doing? All right, so I've got uh, Pan getting hot here. I'll grab my tongs. We'll put a couple of pieces of catfish in our blackening spice here. Generously? Yeah, just on the one side. Typically, when we bronze, we just do the one side of the fish. We like to uh, you know, definitely want people to be able to taste the fish and get a sense of the whole you know, New Orleans Cajun experience when they have the fish. We're just going to let that sizzle for about one minute on that side. So you can see how oh, the fish has beautiful. got some nice color on there. So I'm just going to add a little little knob of butter to the pan. And I'm going to turn the heat down. I'll bring my pan down for the vegetables. Okay, okay so I've got 
couple of broccoli, some carrots. We've got some nice fresh beans right now available with cauliflower. A little bit of seasoning to this. And I've just lightly steamed the vegetables. So, that's a few pieces. So, you know, when you put this on, just, you know, crisscross a little bit. We've got a okay. nice, nice little piece of okra that we're going to just set on there as well. So let's take a look at our catfish. See the catfish is nicely sizzling. I, I would just touch it. The cat, this piece is almost done. This one probably needs about two more minutes. So we'll just set it up here for about another 30 seconds. Now what would you accompany this with? A beer or a wine? Well, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with a nice cold beer with the, uh, the catfish. But just like that, wow. you know, we can uh, we'll just serve with a piece of lemon. Sometimes we do different drizzles on top of the fish, but that's uh, what the uh, bronze catfish is looking like. Wow, I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> so here's our amazing final final two dishes. Shucked yes. oysters, freshly shucked oysters on ice, and the bronzed catfish with the melange of vegetables yep. and the creole rice. Yes. Thank you very much. No problem.